Washington, a White House speechwriter for President Donald Trump was terminated last week after revelations that he had spoken at a conference attended by well-known white nationalists, according to three people familiar with the decision who are not authorized to speak publicly. Darren Beatty, who was a visiting instructor at Duke University before he joined the White House speech writing team, was fired Friday after a media inquiry about his appearance at the 2016 HL. Mencken Club Conference, where Beatty spoke on a panel alongside Peter Brimelow. The White House has confirmed that Darren Beatty no longer works as a speechwriter there, though no details were given as to why. Tom Brenner, the New York Times file photo, Brimelow, founder of the anti-immigrant website VDare.com, is a white nationalist and regularly publishes works by white supremacists, anti-Semites, and others on the radical right, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center, an advocacy group that tracks extremists. Earlier this year, Brimelow described himself as a believer in racial nationalism who sees the future of the United States precipitating out on racial lines. CNN's K-File, an investigative unit, published a report on Sunday on BD and his appearance at the Mencken event, which has been attended in the past by white nationalist Richard Spencer. Spencer is a prominent figure in the alt-right, a movement whose adherents are known for espousing racist, sexist and anti-Semitic points of view. Article continued Bella wants White House officials were informed about CNN's pending report Beatty reportedly was confronted and urged to step down immediately. But he apparently refused to resign, arguing that he was not racist and that he had made uncontroversial academic points at the Mencken gathering. When it became clear that Beatty would not resign, the people familiar with the matter said, the White House terminated him. Beatty worked for Vince Haley, the head of speech writing at the White House. And at times he worked on speech projects for Stephen Miller, Trump's top policy advisor and speechwriter, the people added. It was not clear Sunday whether Trump or his chief of staff John Kelly were personally involved in Beatty's departure, Mr. Beatty no longer works at the White House, White House spokesperson Hogan Gidley said in a statement to the Washington Post. We don't comment on personnel matters, Beatty, when reached by phone on Sunday, declined to elaborate on his dismissal but provided the Post with a statement, in 2016 I attended the Mencken conference in question and delivered a standalone, academic talk titled, The Intelligentsia and the Right, I said nothing objectionable and stand by my remarks completely, Beatty said in the statement. It was the honor of my life to serve in the Trump administration. I love President Trump, who is a fearless American hero, and continue to support him 100%. I have no further comment, Beatty, who holds a doctorate from Duke, was one of the rare academics on the White House staff. Article continued below in 2016, he went public with his support for Trump and cited Trump's hardline immigration position as one of the key reasons for his victory. One of the signals for me is when Trump made his provocative remarks on immigration and then refused to apologize in the wake of overwhelming corporate and media opposition, Beatty told The Chronicle, a newspaper at Duke. Beatty wrote his doctoral thesis on Martin Heidegger, who was a member of the Nazi party in Germany. Beatty has called Heidegger's Nazi affiliation highly troublesome, but maintained that his work is worthy of scholarly attention, according to a report by Forward magazine.